Hey everyone, it's Leonep. Welcome back to DIY Beauty and Purpose. Today I am doing a cleaning up of my studio. Oh my gosh, is it absolutely a mess. My workstation there, the table, I just keep putting things on it. I just need to clean it up. I've got furniture that still needs to be painted, projects that I'm working on. I have my staging area with the shelves where I have all the stuff that I stage and things that I need to work on. Uh, it's just out of control and then of course I got my staging wall and I have furniture in front of it that has not sold so I'll be also showing you a behind the scenes on staging uh, furniture and um, yeah just hopefully getting this organized so I can get motivated and get going. So the first thing I need to do is um, obviously get things cleared up, but I got to start somewhere. So I am just making some room in the middle so that I can get the workstation cleared, my table. This is just one of those folding tables that I opened up and I actually have it uh, placed on risers, I think they're called. So I just put risers on both uh, sides on each leg and so it's a little bit higher, easier, and better on the back for working. So I'm just going to be putting things away, organizing. I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking. Basically, it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> uh, but some things here and there, I will be mentioning a few things. So again, right now, I'm just clearing things, putting things on, I guess, the side of the room that it goes in. And then I have to go to each side and get things organized. This is the area where I keep most of my tools. It's right behind my workstation. And so I always keep them here, but it gets dirty. And I this is my go-to where I put things, you know, screws and sanding uh, blocks and just things. So um, right now I'm just kind of making things a little bit more organized, clean, dusting everything. I'm using disinfecting wipes, of course. Uh, we're all into the disinfecting um, uh season so anyways again just organizing things this lamp is something that i uh, or one that i uh, oh my gosh i can't talk thrifted and i have yet to do something with it now again this is the area too that i put like scrap pieces of small wood so i just place a basket here from the dollar tree so that i can place those pieces of wood um, and this little shelf I did a DIY on when I was updating this wall. I love it. I've added a few things here and there, so I dusted it. My desk area, I recently did an update for my little office area. So I'm just getting things straightened up and clean because it was getting out of control again, just putting things on top. This area here is a mess. I'm not going to lie. This little drawer thing that I have there, that's usually where I keep my tissue paper and gift bags and things like that. But it's become a catch-all as well. So I'm just going to cleaning up, clean, oh my gosh, clear it up, clean it up as well. One of the wheels kind of came off, so I got to put that back on so it's not tilting. And then cleaning off um, and organizing a little bit.
As I mentioned earlier, this area is where I keep most of my staging and decoration items. So I'm just getting things organized. I'm not really getting rid of anything because everything that I have, I want right now. But I'm just getting things dusted and clean and organized so when I am looking for something, I can find it. And in this area is where I keep florals, Dollar Tree items that I have to yet uh, work with. And so I try to keep the florals on the top shelf. It's getting a little out of hand, so I'm gonna, I may have to come up with something different. But for now, I'm just going to add a basket that I recently worked on, which is that one. I'm going to be using the basket for something different eventually, but for now, it's just going to hold some extra florals that I have. The second shelf, I'm going to add one of those baskets from the Dollar Tree and these are the items from the Dollar Tree that are new and uh, unused and that I have hopefully plans to do something with here in the next few weeks. And the bottom two shelves I just keep things that I again I just have to work with things that are new or things that I have thrifted that I have to work on. And in the shelves I keep paint, I keep brushes and screws and nails and things like that. So now I'm going to start restaging this little table that unfortunately it hasn't sold and I'm hoping it sells soon. Uh, so I am going to restage it just to kind of give it a new look and hopefully attract attention on Marketplace and it would sell quicker. So what I basically do is I go to my staging area and I just grab things here and there and just kind of see what it looks like and then remove it again or whatever I want. So in this case, I think I'm going to add, or I thought about adding a frame and then a vase and some other things. So I'll let you see what I did with it. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you the pictures. All right, guys, so here is my cleaner studio. <laughs> I did not throw away much. It was basically just reorganizing and cleaning and dusting. So the tools area and the shelf, I just, oh gosh, it's just so much cleaner. It just makes me happy now. I just, it makes me feel inspired and happy to come into my studio and get work in. So the pathway to my working area is clear. The bottom of the, sh the table, of course, it's a little cluttered, but it's organized clutter. Um, now I have the little three drawer shelf there in working condition, extra painting, um, what do they call it, drop cloths. And then of course, um, my sewing machine. I don't use it much, but when I do, I'm so glad I have it. My office area is back to feeling clean and organized and ready for some studying again this week. And some of the projects that I still have to work on, like the desk and some other thrifted items, um, I just had to put there temporarily until I get to working on them. My staging and supply area, it looks cluttered, but it is organized as much as it can be. And at least I know where everything is and is reachable.
And of course, that, that is the planter, or not the planter, the basket that I'm going to be reusing for other purposes until I find a better solution for my florals. I got to start thinking about that because that's not working out for me right now. So, and then the furniture that yet has to sell, except for that little pink table, it did sell pretty quickly. They just have to come and pick it up. And so basically I resaged these two tables, that one and this one. Um, and I'll show you the picture here at the end. And then the staging wall pretty much stayed the same. I just dusted it. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider doing so right underneath this video. And um, I hope you like this kind of video. I know it's a little different, but I just thought I'd show you some behind the scenes. And um, write me a comment if you have any questions or any comments at all. Give me a thumbs up if you really liked it. And if you really, really liked it, I hope you share with friends. I hope you have a blessed day.